who's ready for the new Slipknot record. First time checking uh, this out. It says Slipknot. Uh, so I'm a, and it says see Slipknot live in 2022. So I don't know if this is a new track, but uh, we're gonna react to it and see what it's all about. And like I said, uh, yeah, man, uh, it was released today. So let's check it out. So you see some fans dressed up as the original Slipknot characters, which I call them characters. Because if you guys didn't know, Slipknot is releasing a new album. They don't know when exactly, but they said everything is being mixed and mastered and it should be out within uh, three to four months. So that would be June or July, which is around the same time that you have these American music festivals that happen. And if you've never seen a Slipknot show, I highly, highly recommend it. Heavy, aggressive, wild, high energetic. You would not believe the intensity that these dudes put on a show from just playing like a House of Blues show or playing like 50,000 um, uh, audience festival like Welcome to Rockville. These mother truckers put on a phenomenal show. If you want high energy, there's not many people to put on a show as good as them besides like a Rammstein or something like that. That's got to be one of the creepiest things you've ever seen. Their DJ with like a realistic looking face. I don't know why it's creepy, but it definitely does look creepy. And it's good to see all um, generations love and Slipknot from... The old people, like I guess you'd call me an old Slipknot head because I've been a Slipknot fan since uh, 2000. And the young people that are still rocking out to their music to this day. Like she looks maybe in her 20s or maybe teenage years. But it's good to see all generations loving Slipknot. And I'll say it, and I'll say it again. It's good to see Slipknot improving their sound, maturing, having solos, softer stuff, acoustic -y stuff, heavy riffs, and not just powerful, and I mean powerful, like extreme metal. So it's good to see, and it's good to see Corey Taylor's vocals have changed over the years from being just harsh vocals to being soft and... Uh, actual clean vocals, so it's it, it's tremendous to, for me. Oh my God, he has a damn uh, he has a flamethrower just like Rammstein used. That's crazy. That was a flamethrower hooked up to his bass. That is intense city right there. Oh my God. That's the only, only other t people I've ever seen ever do anything remotely like that would be the uh, dudes in uh, Rammstein. So if that's any, any indication of what the new Slipknot record is going to sound like, I'm definitely going to be pumped for it. Um, I think, like I said, Slipknot has progressed their sound and style from their early days of their self-titled album to their Iowa album, which is arguably the heaviest brutality album they've ever made. Everybody wants Iowa, but you're never going to get Iowa too. But what we're getting is more mature music with vocals, with gray riffs, great solos, great clean vocals, and it's good to see Corey doing his clean stuff and still screaming, but 
at the end of the day, like I said, if you want to see intensity at its finest, just go see a Slipknot uh, live show. You'll be blown away. The mosh pits are nasty. The um, crowd surfing is crazy. Overall, it's a hell of a win. And yes, I didn't do this as a traditional um, reaction video because I know what would happen with Slipknot and their new music. It would hit me with the copyright strike. Sorry about that, but uh, I just wanted to react to it. And I'll put a link in the description box if you guys want to see the full video of the actual song because for me, I can't fully upload the full track. So, uh, yeah, man, overall, uh, I think... Uh, the song was great. I don't even know, like I said, if it was off their last album or if this is a news track, whatever. All I know is the song uh, was heavy, aggressive, and it kicks a major ass. So as always, it's your boy Trevor back with another reaction video, baby.